Hello, today we're going to have a look at the Autodesk Construction Cloud and Autodesk Docs and have a look at the Review option. In this project, we've currently got three people working on the project. We have Maria, she's our HVAC engineer. And we also have Otto, and he's our structural engineer. There's also myself, who's the project admin. In this case, Maria needs to get her file reviewed. But when she selects this, and then copies it into an area that both Otto and Paul can see. She'll then go into that shared area under HVAC. And in this case, she wants to initiate a review so that Otto can see that. There's the file that Otto can now see in the shared area. So going back to Maria, if she actually selects the file, there is an option there for submit for review. But if we have a look in reviews, there's no review process. So we'd have to actually create one. Now, unfortunately, Maria isn't a project admin, so she can't create the review workflow. So let's switch back to Paul's login and here we see settings. So there is no approval workflow created. So let's create one. So selecting the create workflow, we then choose between one and five step approval. In this case, we're going to stick to two step approval. So we'll have initial review and final review. When we select next, we just give it some general info. So we give it a, a name for this particular review and a description so that everybody can understand exactly what that review is for. The initiator in this case, we want it to be Maria, but we might also want other people to initiate this. Now we can do this by username or by role. We can actually say that all engineers, for instance, can initiate a review or we can specify a company. In this case, I'm gonna use username, but we're gonna actually select all three users to actually allow this to be initiated by all of them. Now the first reviewer, we can have a choice of single reviewer or multiple reviewers. Let's choose single reviewer, and we'll leave it set to three calendar days for the time allowed to review this. So the reviewer in this case is gonna be Otto. We select save. And then we select, we can either select more reviewers or we can actually select the final reviewer, which is Paul. So the final reviewer is the approver. And then they get a choice of whether the review is approved, rejected or approved with comments. We can add more of these as well. A couple of other things we can actually do at the same time is we could also get this file copied to a new location. This could be a shared location that others can get to. And we can also get it to update another attribute. We don't have any attributes added to this, but we could actually add other attributes that it will automatically change that attribute to. And we also have a customized note in this case. It will save and that review is then new there ready to use. So now Maria, if she goes to create a review, she chooses the file that she wants to review or get reviewed and create. We've now started this review process. So here's the review, review workflow, our two stage, and she gives it a name as well. So once she's given that a name, she can then submit that for a review. Here's the file that's been reviewed. 
and if you select submit you'll see it's going to go to Otto because he was the next reviewer we could if we had other reviewers we could add more in there and we can also get other people notified that this is in review they might not be the reviewer but they might want to know that it's in review and we give a polite message explaining that the file needs reviewing when send is selected an email will arrive in Otto's inbox explaining that we need to review this file if I switch to Otto and go to reviews you'll see it listed there he sees that because he is indeed the person that has the next action we also see it's initiated by Maria now Otto will then start that review he selects that he will then look at the file and review it and maybe mark it up and now if he starts the review the review process is started if there was multiple reviewers involved in this what Otto is doing is actually taking that review for himself and stops anyone else having been able to review it at the same time Otto can then add comments as he wishes in this case he's happy that this can actually be approved although Otto himself doesn't review this it will go to the next person so he will then submit the review and give any notes as he wishes so the final review you see now we've notified the reviewers as in Paul we can also again notify other members and add a message and again on send Paul will get an email to say there is a document in review for him to check So if we now switch to Paul as a user, have a look at reviews, and there it is. It's there for Paul to look to see, and again, because it's his next action by. So when we select this, again, he can view the document and check any markups, and he can also check any comments that previous reviewers have actually added. When he's happy, he can then say start the review again it locks it just in case there's multiple people for this stage once he's fully re reviewed the actual document he then gets the chance to approve reject or approve with comments or if we'd added any others he could choose any of those so once he's approved it and submits the review everybody in the process will actually get notification so Maria because she uh, started this Otto and Paul as well so once that's sent for or submitted if we switch back now to Maria and if she goes into the file location finds that document in the shared location under HVAC she will now see that that file has been updated and it, the review status is approved so that's the review options in Autodesk Docs mm -hmm.